this is a question uh, which uh, test whether we can understand the graphs with certain logics okay which of these cannot possibly represent one dimensional motion of a particle we know all the principles of one dimensional motion and accordingly we will check whether these are valid or not valid first the very first thing what in a graph we should see is what is represented by the axis what is represented by the height and what is represented by the distance in positive direction so here this is time and this is position time and position graph is it possible or it is not possible now here we find one ambiguity at a particular instant where is the particle so at this instant we draw this line the graph is giving us information that at this instant the particle is here and the particle is here this says 1 cm and this says 6 cm now one particle which is doing one dimensional motion at any one instant cannot be located at two locations at a time and this shows that at a time the particle is at two locations this is not possible so this is a not possible explanation is this now we come to question b b is a graph between velocity and time okay this says that again at a particular time at this time what is the velocity so at this time this says the velocity is positive this says the velocity is negative positive the particle is going in one direction negative the particle is going in other direction and at one instant particle cannot go in both the directions this shows the particle is going in both the direction at this instant so this is also not possible third speed and time speed never has negative sign and this graph shows plus and minus both so speed is always positive it is never negative it goes on increasing or decreasing but their speed is distance upon time and distance is always positive because even if we turn back the distance keeps on adding up and it is always taken as positive there is no negative distance therefore there is no negative velocity but this shows negative so this is also not possible so this is not correct this is not correct this is not correct now total path length and time the total path length path length which i travel i have traveled to 200 meter then i return back and go 50 meter more how much i have traveled answer 250 total is 250 travel for 10 second more 260 travel for 20 second more 280 what is happening the total path length is increasing increasing will it decrease any time how it can decrease whatever i have traveled that can never be minus that can never be deducted back so even if i turn i go there 200 meter turn back and i come here 50 meter how much i have traveled the path length is 200 plus 50 it cannot be 200 minus 50 because it is not displacement it is the path length that is distance so path length is always keeps on adding up because we are walking whether in the opposite direction displacement may be less or more but path length is never deducted it is always added up and here what is given up to this it is okay path length goes on increasing but in this time period the path length is decreasing which is not possible path length never decrease so not possible total path length 
टोटल ऑफ पाथ लेंथ नेवर डिक्रीज नेवर डिक्रीज सो ऑल ऑफ देम आर नॉट पॉसिबल सो दिस गिवस एन अंडरस्टैंडिंग वॉट इज पॉसिबल एंड वॉट इज नॉट पॉसिबल थैंक यू